Hello there, guys, and welcome back. Craig, why, why are you tilting forward like that? Full tilt, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there guys, welcome, come on, come on in to yet of course another pre-workout review by us, the Review Bros. My name's Aaron. My name's Craig. And today we're reviewing a pre-workout and we're sorry to be late to the party on this one. We don't even know how we missed it. I think it's because we did a little Instagram re uh, review on it, didn't we? Yeah, we it's, went to the headquarters, didn't we? We went to the headquarters, we did taste testing before the product went even public. So I felt like we did all of that and then never actually reviewed it as such professionally. But here we are. We're going full tilt on the CNP's stimulant only pre-workout and we're gonna be covering the taste, price, label and effects. Do you think they might like it? I think you might, guys. But of course, let's find out for you. We put out three honest reviews per week and if you could just do us a little favor, it does help us. Like the video, drop down any comments you have down below and of course, subscribe. And hopefully we'll get you towards your fitness goals. How's this one gonna to compare to the other CMP range? Because generally speaking, they're really good, right? They are indeed, so will this one be any different? Let's find out. And we're into taste and mixability, something that CMP usually do a good job in. And the flavor we've got for this review is sour sauces. Which sounds pretty uh, saucy, doesn't it? <laughs> It also comes in bubble guns, gator juice, and Raz Riptide. And each tub has a different color and theme to it, which I think is pretty cool, don't you? Yeah, really, really cool. We've tried them all, haven't we, Aaron? Yeah, we've tried them all. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. You don't see that often, do you? No, they do go all out on their market, and I give them that and all. It has a nice feel to it, like shininess, like a Pokemon card or something. Mm, I also like the graphics, but mm. we're not here to talk about that, are we? We're talk here to talk about the taste test. Indeed, pass me the goods. Here we are. Cheers. Pre-mixed. Well, I'll give it a little bit more, I think. Next, just swivel. It's only a 10 gram scoop, so it shouldn't struggle, fingers crossed. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I mean, yeah. There's a few bits at the bottom, isn't there? Could be worse, Yeah. couldn't it? Average for the glasses. Average? Here we go. Sour saucers going down. Hmm. Not bad. As to be expected, to be honest with you. You know those sweets, didn't you? Those sour sauces. Mm. I yeah. loved them, didn't you? Yeah, if you picture that whilst you're drinking it, you can imagine that you are drinking up some molten down sauces. I'm trying to think what back was our, when we went to the headquarters, what was our favorite flavor? I really can't remember. Obviously you've got the Raz Riptide, which is like a blue raspberry. You've got the Gator Juice, which is like um, an apple. Yeah, that's right. And then you've got the other one. <laughs> that might be my favorite one, the other one, <laughs> ironically. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I remember them all being really good. They were all sort of like seven and a half plus, weren't they? Easy, yeah. There wasn't any that were bad. Hmm. Mm. I'm trying to get a score out of 10 because it's unique, which it gains points for. Yeah. It's also a bit strange. Yeah, I, def I actually really like it. I'd like it to have a bit more of a, a flavoursome kick. Might have put a bit too much water in, so I will hold my hands up to that one. Not good, Craig. <laughs> um, let's do a three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna finish this quickly. Okay. Three, two, one. Eight, eight. out of ten. Yeah. It's a safe bet, guys. You won't complain. If I had a choice, I think I would have chose one of the others. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. that's the truth. Anyway, let's get into the price point. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it gonna set you back to pick up this nice shiny tub of full tilt? Well, you head over to CNP Professional 
www.rbfitness.co.uk where you can use our discount code RB15. You can get it for 25.49. Not bad, you say, and not bad, you're right, if that makes any sense. Tell them why. <laughs> I tell ya, that RB15 works on any of the products at CMP. Great start, obviously. It's 30 servings of swell per the container, none of this 40, 20, 15, 30. It's a real 30, and you know the drill. Generally speaking, of course, that helps the price point a lot. And it does in this case too. It comes in at just 85p per serving, which on our consistent price and scale, where a five out of 10 is bang average. This one comes out at a nice nine out of 10. Yes. Golly gosh, Batman. You heard that right. <laughs> nine out of 10. It's a cheap one for sure. But we're gonna get bad effects with that. Or we're gonna get really good ones. Is it a diamond in the rough? Let's move into the label. Okay, what are we getting with this pre-workout? So on the front of the tub, it's claiming stimulant and nootropic, focus and alertness, energy and endurance. Well, let's see what it's packing. We'll be the judge of that. So we've got a 10 gram scoop, we've got energy, caffeine and hydrous, 250 milligrams. Yeah, your staple there, that's a respectable dose. Two and a half cups worth of coffee, of course it's there for your energy and your stimulation. Nice, Infinity trademark dicaffeine malate, 134 milligrams. Good, is that yielded or is that 100 milligrams yielded? 100 milligrams yielded. So it tops up that caffeine very nicely with a slower digestible source for a longer prolonged period of energy and drive hopefully resulting in no crash. Lovely, then we move into the full tilt matrix juniper berry extract, 400 milligrams multitude of health benefits. In here, it's really there for the upregulation of some of these ingredients and hopefully in turn, give us a bit more effect. Yeah, power up time. Then we've got theocrine, 100 milligrams. Which is in there as a source of energy alongside the caffeine to really sort of prolong even more, working with the decaffeine malate for an anti-crash mechanism. Yeah, and then we've got citrus aurantium, 100 milligrams which is very similar to like a synephrine type, so a fat burner that also metabolizes fat cells for energy sources. Let's see if we have thermogenic effect from that. Lovely, performance, we got beta aniline 3.2 grams. Good, the clinical dose guys, the beta tingle, the itchy, tingly feeling as the pre-workout kicks in. And of course, Hopefully after a period of time, it's gonna help us with endurance in training. Yeah, we love that though. When we've got creatine monohydrate, three grams. Which is a good dose, you know, we would have liked to have seen five. Is it needed in a pre-workout? Well, that's one of the old aged questions of our universe. I don't know <laughs> too much. However, it's obviously in there for a multitude of benefits, you know, uh, strength output, energy, performance. Um, even, even pumpy. Even pumpy time. Then we finish off this uh, matrix with niacin, 16 milligrams is 100% of your NRV. Mm, which is your B vitamin. So it's gonna help with general bodily function. And what we're gonna feel from it? Well, you might get a flushing sensation, the niacin flush, that can work nicely with the beta alanine to kind of give you that sense of urgency and a feeling of the pre-kicking in. Yeah, so you can say to your mate, are you flushing because you're happy to see me or have you just taken full tilt? I don't know, are you going to be flushing the toilet or are you going to be <laughs> flushing those PBs? <laughs> then we got absorption, which is astrogen 50 milligrams, bioperine 10 milligrams. Gotta say I enjoy the double digestion matrix there, of course, in there for the absorption of these ingredients to get them into the system, which I think is very important with a pre-workout as you've got that 30 minute window. Although I'll be honest in this formula, do you need a double digestive matrix? when you were talking about 10 grams of material. Exactly, mm. that is the interesting question. And then we wrap off with vitals. It's got its own bloody matrix here for vitamin B6 at 1.4 milligrams. Mm. And it's very vital to your training to get your vitamins and minerals in, guys. You know, grow big and strong. Indeed, eh? <laughs> you get a nice little meal with this one then. Let's see how it comes <laughs> together. Let's full tilt this. <laughs> We are there, guys. We are into the effects 
of this stuff in the real world and what can it do for you watching at home? We're gonna go through the usuals, looking for the elements we want from our pre-workouts, our focus, our pumps, and of course, the energy. What's it gonna do? And I want to throw this ball into the deep end straight away and say that we do these reviews with a very open mind and we give you the information as, it, as it's true to the world. And something we've just got to reiterate early on in this effects section is please do bear in mind the price point is very, very affordable. It's got to be said early on because it's an open-minded thing, isn't it? 100%, yeah. If this was a mega expensive pre-workout, it might be a little bit different. It would be very different, I think. Mm. Even though we try not to involve the price in the effects, but when it is a large factor, we have to. We have to. Start us off, Craig. So obviously there's beta aniline in it, which we always like to see in our pre-workouts, especially non-stims and daily driver-esque ones. And it kicks in strong in this one. Obviously you've got the dual digestive aid, the dose we look for for the beta. So it comes in at like an eight out of 10 on the tingle scale. Yeah, and I think amplifying that is of course our good old friend niacin, the B vitamin that comes along with a bit of flushing. And actually I'm quite sensitive to the stuff. It didn't make my skin go red, but I did feel it. It feels like, it feels like you're turning on your central heating inside your body. You know, it gives that thermogenic style feel. It raises urgency and it feels like your blood pressure starts to go up and it feels like you're amping up ready to get the shit done. And that's what does happen. You get a nice, clean wave of energy. Mm. Not too much, not too little. It's a nice energy drink level. You know, it may be a little bit more, in fact. Yeah, as you might come to expect from that label, obviously they've quite nicely balanced out their caffeine over the anhydrous and the dicaffeine malates. There is no sudden urge of it hitting you at once, nor does it leave you fast. So very smooth, like yeah. I mentioned. And it gives you energy for a long period of time because of the tear cream behind it as well, and obviously the deca decaffeine malate. So there's, whilst this pre-workout's not a roller coaster, there's no high energy and a nasty crash. It's a nice smooth train. It's a train of energy. Mm. Not too much, not too little. It's certainly okay for 95% of people out there. Yeah, it? predictable and consistent. You're not gonna have a, a day where it suddenly hits you and knocks your socks off and nor are you really gonna have a day where you don't feel it at all. It's, it's like you said, in that middle ground. And I think that's probably, I'll be honest, the strongest element of the product is the energy. It's clean, it's consistent, it delivers, and it's ample enough for a training day. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. Obviously for stim junkies out there, it's not gonna do the trick. But like I say, for 95% of people, it definitely will. And it did for us today. You know, we got through training, and it's a, good, it's a good amount of energy. Pumps? Yeah, obviously we're not getting pumps in this pre-workout. You know, they've got a separate pre-workout for the pumps. Obviously we reviewed that recently. It even says on the front, you know, energy, endurance, focus. So we know what we're getting with this one. Obviously you can generate pumps from that focus element where you get the mind to muscle connection. We've always said that's more important than pump ingredients 99% of the time. So we did still get a good pump on it. Yeah, respectable pump. Nothing crazy, obviously. And I think the same can be said for the focus. There's not anything in here for focus, really, is there? Not for that we usually see, you know, like your L-tyrosines, your choline sources. Alpha GPCs, or any of the illicits, of course, must be mentioned at some stage in the review. The caffeine's probably the driver of the focus. You know, it just wakes things up, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like, it's like you said, it's a jazzed up energy drink. It's like an energy drink that you pack a punch and it's got a little other, some bells and whistles with it. So whilst the formulation is not... Uh, Game changing as such. No, and it's not trying to be anything special. The ingredients they've used are at good dosages. There's nothing in there that I think that's a poor dosage at all. In fact, I think everything in there is well dosed. It's just a simple formula and a simple package, so there's not anything that they're risking either. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice one that you can just have in your gym bag, share around with your mates. You know, you could even take it for when you don't want to necessarily train. You could use it as a new tropic because it's such a smooth energy source. You could use it just to, as a pick-me-up for your normal day-to-day -day life. 
it's that kind of friendliness mm. level. And whilst we probably sound more negative than we should, like I say, for 95% of people out there, it's good. And on that price point, it is definitely worth it. Do I think you're getting an absolute ridiculous bargain? No, I do think you're getting a bargain though. I would say it's probably worth that pounder scoop score. Yeah, I think if you were getting pumps in with this formula, I would say the price is is very much a you know super bargain. But like Aaron said, it's it's still decent without that. Yeah, when you stack on full t uh, full pump, sorry, that's when of course the price point then goes up. But those two products would go together very well indeed. But then you're moving into the realms of the expensive products, so. You know, you've got this hand, you've got blue pill, red pill, what do you want really at the end of the day? It's a good product. It's not great, it's not amazing, it's not game changing, it's not special, but for the price point, it has to just be said again, very good. And it also tastes good, doesn't it? Exactly, it's got its audience that it's after, it's after people on a budget, it's after beginner level stim people that are getting into the pre-workout realm. Yeah. Not much more can be said. I think if you're new to the game, worth it. If you care about health, worth it. If you just want a general pre-workout, worth it. It's worth, uh, it's definitely better than a lot of pre-workouts in its price point. So exactly that. that's where it's got a real strength. Appreciate CMP for giving it on down to us. You know, appreciate you guys watching at home. What do you think of it? Have you used it? You know, drop your comments down below. It does help us. Of course, helps other people as well watching this review to give an even more thorough picture of the pre-workout itself. Indeed. As always, stay pumped, stimmed, and full tilting. Cheers for watching.